A local dance studio is preparing to celebrate a big milestone this weekend. KQ2's Courtney Rowe joins us live here in studio to tell us more about the Darcy School of Dance owner's legacy and how they plan to commemorate 40 years in business. Hi, Courtney. Hey, Mary Grace. Yes, located on the south side of St. Joseph, right on the corner of King Hill Avenue and Alabama Street, sits a beacon of opportunity for area dancers. Darcy School of Dance is gearing up to celebrate 40 years of 5678s, rhinestones, leaps, and turns. I look back and I just can't believe that 40 years when I say that, I think, oh my gosh, that's a long time. But then it just seems like yesterday sometimes too. The upcoming anniversary making Darcy nostalgic of the time spent with her family building her dance empire. This is my grandma, Lila Pulaski. My grandparents used to teach ballroom dance at Missouri Western. They got me into dance at three, age of three. My grandfather and I really, um, on a side note, wanted to open a dance studio. Then we found this building. But those familiar with Darcy's know that the celebration of this studio doesn't come without some grief. The day that we signed papers on it, um, he came to mow the grass at the building. Um, he was mowing the grass and had a heart attack in the grass here at the building and passed away. Um, so we decided that we were going to turn the building into something positive as opposed to it being a negative thing, so it became Granddad's dream. The devastation of Granddad's passing hitting everyone at the studio hard, especially Darcy's student-turned-teacher, Lindsay Johnson, who grew up with the studio and the family. That was hard. It was really hard because he was like my grandfather. <laughs> and so I just remember her telling me, and I really didn't think that it was true, um, but then there was a day that I had a dream and I came back and I told her, I said, I want to let you know that granddad was at the end of my bed. And he said, you know, to go out there and break a leg like he always said it to me. And still, 40 years later, Darcy's students who never even got the chance to meet him still feel that connection to granddad. Even though I've never met granddad, I feel like I have in a way just because of how much my mom and Lindsay keep him alive and all the little ones down here everyone down here always goes the light will flicker they'll go granddad and I'm just like how they don't even know this person like it's just so crazy how much they keep the memory alive and it's so special and as the 40th anniversary inches closer and closer Darcy feels as though she's truly living out granddad's dream I knew without a doubt this is what he would have wanted and I totally believe that it was his dream for me, and it became my dream too. A dream that has been passed down generations and will continue to build upon its past. Tap dancing Paula, and this is my Aunt Sherry. Everybody's always like, oh, you're not going to college, you're not doing this. I'm like, I would be the biggest idiot in the world to not continue what she has started for me and not to continue on this amazing legacy that she has built for her and for everybody that is involved in this place and whoever has been. A place of comfort born out of grief, where dancers of all backgrounds can come together and be a part of the DSOD family. It was so much more than a business. It was so much more than that, that and it still is. It's, we are so much a family.